Welcome Achievers to MySciences.com. This is Mr. Gary with another online lab. This quick lab comes from the Holt Earth Science California edition, page 302, and it's entitled Seismic Graphic Record. The objective is how do you create a seismographic record? And again, it's a quick lab on page 302. The California standards are 3D. Students know why and how earthquakes occur and the scale used to measure their intensity and magnitude as well as investigation and experimentation 1D. Students will formulate explanations using logic and evidence. For today's lab, we need some supplies. A shoe box, plastic bag, sand, felt tip pin, I'm using a vis-a-vis, -a, -vis, a pad of paper, and a baseball. What you do is you take, uh, you could do this in several different ways for different extensions, but you take a sheet of paper, uh, sorry, a plastic bag, and you put sand in it, and you put the sand inside of the uh, shoebox. Then you take a ruler, and you figure out where the center of the shoebox is. That's going to be your epicenter, where you're going to be dropping your ball. And then you take your one or two rubber bands. I found the two rubber bands works best. And you put a vis-a-vis -vis in here. Let me go ahead and take the tip off. And with your pad of paper, it works best if there's two people doing the experiment. You're going to be moving the paper across the vis-a-vis -vis, and then you're going to be dropping the ball and as you can tell we have some seismic waves we did this a little bit earlier and got a little bit better uh, seismic wake so you can try this several times and the second part to this is to actually replace the plastic bag with the sand with newspaper crumbled up newspaper and the questions, the analysis is, what do the lines on the paper represent? So that would be this paper. What do the sand and newspaper represent? Question three of the analysis. Compare the lines made in steps four through six with those made in step eight. Which material vibrated more when the ball was dropped on it? In today's experiment, we only did one. We, did, we only did it with the, actually with an empty box. Explain why one material might vibrate more than the other. Number four, how might different types of crustal material affect seismic waves that pass through it? And finally, number five, how might the distance of the epicenter of an earthquake from the seismograph affect the reading of the seismograph? So that's Mr. Aguirre with uh, Quick Lab on page 302, signing off.